Good morning, good evening, wherever you are. Welcome to the course Microsoft Certified Azure DevOps Engineer. To look at some of the course highlights, this is a specialized training program carved by me targeting Azure DevOps Engineer job titles. As we closely work with the organizations, we see what exactly their demands are, what exactly their requirements are, what the organizations are looking at in a job profile and we also see the candidates they may be freshers or working in different profiles of IT already or maybe coming from non IT backgrounds looking at their profiles and the training industry and the gaps involved so training industry is actually teaching the tools and how you use the tools but not exactly what the organizations are looking for so i've created this customized course which is to fill the gap between the organization demands or the requirements, the candidate profile and the training industry gaps. Especially the learning path that is combination of real time projects and the theory. The theoretical explanation helps the candidate, helps you answer the questions in the interview with a great confidence and accuracy. The real time projects or the real time labs or scenarios that we practically execute in the sessions in the classes would help you perform your job duties without you depending on anybody during your job time along with the suit of azure services and devops tools we have incorporated advanced level devops practices so this is a unique training program that assures you 100 percent placement guarantee provided you've attended all the classes read through all the theory practiced all the labs that we're going to give in this training program, I will assure you that you will have 100% placement guarantee. A typical project delivery has the following stages. Development, testing, deployment, and monitoring. At each stage of a project, we use different combination of people, processes, and tools. Right from the setting up of the development environment till it is tested, deployed, and monitored in the production environment there are many tools and processes that we use in a legacy application development environment there are many challenges on how a project progresses at each stage was different so uh, communication whether it is the communication between the teams or how you pass the work between the teams for example if your development team is working on developing a code of an application your testing team is to sit ideal because they have to wait until all the code is developed so the QA or the testing team can actually test the code and so there are other dependencies. Communication between the teams and the department is another challenge because when uh, there is a bug in testing so the bug is to be reported back to the development and the development team is to rectify it and come back uh, to the testing so through the life cycle of a project, the communication is one of the bottlenecks that we see in a, in a traditional application development environment. Tools and processes used or legacy and have a lot of bottlenecks. Right from the ticketing system, the tickets that we report, so the ticket moves through the each queue and it is addressed and the process associated with it, the prioritization of the tickets. So it is all the legacy that, that doesn't support the continuous delivery continuous integration so that a service can be delivered to the clients but not the value. This is exactly where um, to address the time taking processes to address uh, delivering the value not the service to the customer we have the DevOps practices. So the entire internet you have a lot of definitions on what exactly the DevOps is. Um, you will find n number of definitions because DevOps is not a tool, a software, a team uh, or something that you can buy or etc. The DevOps is, is more of culture, is more of practices. Let's look at some of the definitions. DevOps represents a change in IT culture focusing on rapid IT service delivery through adaptation of agile lean practices in the context of system oriented approach a product oriented approach a system oriented approach that our essential goal is to deliver the value to the customers even if there is a small change it is delivered immediately you don't wait until the month end release of the of the software but you you deliver it 
uh, immediately for that you have to adapt to the agile and the lean practices devops is the combination of cultural philosophies practices and tools that increases an organization ability to deliver applications and services at high velocity devops is a way to release better software it is not just technical tool or a workflow devops is also aligning development staging and deployment together it from the puppet and so you will find n number of definitions on the internet essentially devops is about bringing the people processes tools together when you bring the people together they will collaborate more they will share the common goals they focus on the improvements when a team of people working together it's good that they share the work imagine if there are multiple teams working together with a common goal imagine multiple departments working together with a common goal that is exactly what the devops brings in it is bringing the people together with a common goal as you are bringing the people together definitely we need a change in the processes that's where you you change the process how we used to deliver the tickets how we used to deliver the work from one team to the other team has to be changed that's where there is a change in processes it eliminates the waste it increases the efficiency and streamlines the feedback once a work is executed a feedback of that execution will be given back to the development team they work on it it moves through the testing and so and forth that is essentially delivering the value not just the product as the people come together processes changed you also need a good set of tools to execute the devops strategy because devops like i said is not just a tool is not just a people is not just process but it is bringing them together devops is the union of people processes and products to enable continuous delivery of the value to the end users there are a number of tools that in, that is delivering the value to the customers the tools will enhance the productivity enable the collaboration facilitate the experimentation without wasting the time efforts and it streamlines the feedback and process let's quickly look at what devops is not well remember guys devops is not easy because it is not a tool it is not a team it is not a software it is not it only effort it is not something like a development team can only do it or a or a project management team only do it it is basically it is not just an automation of the infrastructure it is not that you deploy servers together you deploy networking by automating the deployments you bring the puppet you automate server deployment you you bring chef you automate the configuration management no it is not that devops is not a team or a software methodology this is bringing people processes and product together this is just to tell you definition on what devops is and what is not as we move along there is a lot of it to be learned especially the combination of process and the tools like docker containers kubernetes ansible puppet chef etc how we gonna make the learning uh, best learning of the process and the tools together is what our speciality going to be like i said in the beginning it's not just about learning the tools but it is about the theory the theoretical explanation that we going to have plus the scenario based learning of the labs is what going to make something unique so let's quickly look at my profile because you must know me who am i what am i so that you know and you you believe confidently and you practice confidently of what i say well i am venkat kurela have 15 years of it experience started my career as a help desk engineer and then progressed through as a vmware virtualization engineer i was into uh, the infrastructure in consultant and architect and then i am a cloud architect cloud consultant in the compute i worked almost all the form factors of the compute right from the towers rack mountables blades converged hyper converged virtualization cloud docker containers kubernetes and microservices well what not i believe my knowledge and expertise into the traditional data center virtualization and the cloud would help me simplify the topics with great value uh, and i can deliver them with with great ease to you so that you understand the essential 
uh, outcome of it. Uh, if you are talking about the servers, you just don't understand the definition or the lab of it, but you understand why the customers would go to the servers, not to the Docker containers. Maybe why to the Kubernetes, why not to the Docker containers or servers? Why to the web applications or web apps, not to the Docker containers or the servers? So you will understand the essential meaning or the end objective of that. That's the value uh, that I'm going to deliver. I currently have at least 18 different professional certifications right from the ITIL uh, V3 foundation to the VMware VCP 4, 5, 6, 7, VMware advanced level certifications like VCAP certification 5.5, uh, VMware NSX certified, VMware cloud certified and till the Azure, AWS, Google certified, uh, Azure certified DevOps engineer, AWS certified DevOps engineer to the Kubernetes certified engineer. Apart from my professional experience, I work with the authorized training partners of cloud provider like Amazon Web Services, Microsoft and Google companies. Uh, companies like Global Knowledge, Coing and Edutech Subida are some of the companies that I worked with in delivering the corporate trainings to multinational companies like IBM, TCS, Wipro, Infosys, etc. Along with that, uh, I also deliver, I've also created trainings, uh, self-placed trainings into Udemy and Skillshare. You'll find a lot of my trainings in Udemy. Um, and along with that, I also deliver freelancing trainings like this, that you are watching a video so that you get enrolled with me directly. So that you understand how teaching has been my passion. Um, let's try to understand for you to get trained on Azure DevOps specialist or Azure certified DevOps engineer. Well, you either get start here with 104 uh, or you get start here 204. That means you are certified either 104 or 204. That is a mandatory prerequisite from Microsoft. 104 is about validating the ability to manage Azure identity and governance, implement, manage, storage. So essentially 104 is about administrating the Azure infrastructure services compute, networking, storage, monitoring, access control, security, etc. And then 204 is about developing the applications using Azure uh, cloud platform. So 204 is for the developers, 104 is for the administrators. So you complete either of it so that you can get start with Azure DevOps training program, certification program so that you can start up here for the interviews come back to the stages of the application development well you understand in a typical application development environment you have four stages the development testing deployment and monitoring at the development well again you have different stages like the provisioning of the infrastructure setting up of the ide integrated development environment and version control repositories it is about how are you provisioning the infrastructure? For example, there are 10 developers and they need a development environment. Well, you do it manually or you do the infrastructure automation deployments. How you set up the IDE where starting from the Visual Studio Enterprise, Visual Studio Code or Eclipse or there are many development uh, tools available. So you set up the IDE and there are version control repositories that right from the blob storage, maybe Azure, um, DevOps tools or there are many other GitHub, many other version control repositories available. You set them up. Moving to the testing, well, you have code review, dependency management, build management, workflow management, deploy to the QA functional testing. So at each stage, again, you have got combination of tools and processes and people. To the deployment, again, the same. You do the performance testing using different tools. You do the containerization. You deploy them into Azure. Kubernetes or AWS Kubernetes, Google Kubernetes, or you deploy them into the cloud uh, services. It could be web applications, it could be infrastructure as a service like virtual machines, etc. But the deployment is where you get where you deploy the applications, and then once the application is live, you monitor and you do the analytics so that the feedback, the performance is piped back to the development so that they optimize the code for performance. So you've got analytics, observability and collaboration. Like you see, at each stage of a project, different there are different sub stages and each sub stage has got different tools to be used. So in our learning program, at each stage we will be using different combination of tools. 
for me to sum up the tools that we're going to use in our learning program well this is a slide that tells you what tools exactly are we going to use in our learning program from the docker containers kubernetes github ansible terraform json or aml python puppet chef jenkins azure devops tools like azure boards pipelines repositories azure test plans artifacts and the marketplace it is not just all like i said the kind of scenario that we're going to create in our learning program makes the difference so like i said i wanted to reemphasize on this one more time well the combination of tools that we're going to use put them together a scenarios that we're going to discuss will be more aligned towards the real time um, scenarios real time uh, use cases that we're going to encounter at the work uh, environment so once you complete this course uh, the project real time projects or real time scenarios that you're going to go through would help you perform your job duties on your own with great confidence then uh, you will be receiving the material uh, for the classes that is a class notes topic material and white papers that will help you make the notes that will help you prepare the topic very well uh, theoretically and we have we are actually developing an lms so that you will get access to the recorded videos for t plus 60 days training day plus 60 days of a time you will get access to the recorded videos once the training program is complete we will help you with the cv preparation we have a intelligent ai based web portal a portal that we are developing into a track of your choice for example if you are a, a azure administrator right to that track our web portal will build a cv and give it to you and if you choose to be a devops engineer well the portal will build a cv into devops engineer and give it to you so you just customize it a little bit maybe change your personal details and that's all you are good we will also help you with the certification support because the same lms that i said has the built in quizzes and exam registered pre registered exams so that you can register yourself start practicing the questions start practicing the exams and there are at least 200 certification questions and as daily basis as you practice the questions you will be given the community ranking as all other our students are practicing your ranks are compared with the others so that you know where exactly you stand in the competition we also have the interview support because you are talking to a trainer directly you are not talking to a trainer company who is engaging a paid trainer but you are talking to me to the trainer directly so if there is if there is any interview scheduled for you you can call us directly and you can get support from us or let's say you attended an interview today there were 10 questions asked you could only answer five of them well the other five questions you can call our trainer you you say venkat these are the questions asked and these are the five questions i have answered the other five i i'm not able to can you help me with them so that way that way when you prepare you appear the interviews you prepare again that helps you along with that we have our students placed in all the mnc's every week every month as the interviews goes on we will get that questionnaire from all our students with that we also organize the mock interviews that would essentially help you appear for the interviews in a better way with a great confidence we also have this job support over years we have developed the strong community so should you need support occasionally our community will help you free of cost if you need a dedicated job support well we have a paid service that you can pay us and you will get a support you can also come and sit in our office so that you will have in person support as well but yes uh, when it comes to the job support know that you have support uh, whether it is free or paid when it comes to the schedule well azure certified devops engineer training program takes between 6 to 8 weeks to complete monday to friday 2 hours a day 2 hours yes the classes are intensive Uh, we will ensure that there is no background noise that the classes are clean and neat and we will we will also advise you to have the same at your side so that online classes is all about the voice about the sound and the presentation so at our side we take enough measures to ensure the classes are neat and clean but yes it is between 6 to 8 weeks monday to friday 2 hours a day 
two hours is intensive guys please ensure you sit in a room yourself with earphones on i believe the most of information that you are looking for in this course is covered please look at the course content for more information and uh, yeah happy to see you in my classes soon thank you